Catherine Claire performed. Hooray! And how many people have seen Catherine Claire before? Yay! Well, you're in for a real treat, and um, I'm really thrilled to be having her back. And this time, she's pulled out the stops with all her incredible, incredible atmosphere. Yeah. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. And uh, I mean, who doesn't need stars, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, I want to welcome you all. Thank you for coming. Um, we are continuing to do our house concert series. We have one more next week, and then um, next year uh, I'll start putting things out on my calendar. We have a few shows lined up. Um, and I also want to welcome those people who are watching live online. Thank you for joining us tonight. How many people have checked that out ever, the old shows? Or You can do that. If you can't make it here, you can watch online, so it's always an option. Um, anyway, I am really thrilled to have Catherine Clare here tonight and her band. Um, welcome to the stage, Catherine Clare. All right. I wasn't going to say anything, but um, we're just so happy to be here. And this is a show that I've created called Winter Songs. It's been created over many, many years. Um, and this first set especially is really leaning into, just diving into the atmosphere of winter and also the idea of light in the darkness. And um, so I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm just gonna give it to you and let you experience it. <clears throat> And then the second set, um, we're going to have a, a little more combination of songs and some old songs and some sing-alongs, so. Here we go. Thank you. 
The days shorten as we near the longest nights and prepare for winter. Some mornings we wake in darkness and cannot see that the light will return. But it will, and it does. Now, more than ever, we cherish the light in one another's eyes, in the short glimpses of sun that tear through a gray sky, in the spontaneous laughter of a child, the warmth of a fire, a song we remember. These small moments give us hope and remind us that the light is still here, is always here, even in the darkest moments. As winter unfurls its wings across the days, we can be that light, create that light, protect and cherish and share that light whenever we find it. We are not alone in the dark, and together our light is brighter.
Well, um, last, last year, um, we put out a little EP called Winter Songs, and um, I released this song from it last year, a year ago today, December 1st. It's called uh, The Dark of December that I'm going to sing, but it's inspired by an Oliver Herford poem um, that I will sing to you first and, and, then, and then share with you the other song. <clears throat>
quite fun and exciting and uh, I want to take a minute and just acknowledge these two amazing musicians on either side of me, Sid Ditson on the violin and vocals, and Don Henson on the piano. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a song that um, turned 20 years old this year. Um, I finished it in I finished it in 2003. I think I'd been writing it for a little while, but um, I finished it around the time that we went to war. And I've at the time I was working as um, I was working in a bakery. I was working as a baker, and I was also um, getting a degree in ceramics. So my whole day was just spent with my hands. And the song really came out of my everyday experience. Um, and sort of reflecting on the world around me, but this year, and especially this year in coming back to this song for the show, I realized I always introduced this song as like a song for the makers and the creators, and, um, and it is for all of us, <clears throat> the makers and the creators, but um, it's also just unequivocally a song for peace. And um, so this year I offer it, in that lens, I think, um, this is a song for peace. So it's called the Baker Song. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. of the different 
plans you have been making. I've been making the morning meal. I have been turning and turning the earth on a wheel. Maybe someone will fill their stomach. Maybe someone will drink from a beautiful cup. It's up to me. And all that I can do is keep on living my life peacefully. Won't you?
go to sleep, but he's restless. He has an idea and slowly it unfolds from under his beating wings as long as he stays awake. But his big, round music, after all, is too breathy to last. So it's over. In the pine crown he makes his nest, he's done all he can. I don't know the name of this bird. I only imagine his glittering beak tucked in a white wing, while the clouds which he has summoned from the north, which he has taught to be mild and silent, thicken and begin to fall into the world below, like stars or the feathers of, un of some unimaginable bird that loves us, that is asleep now and silent, that has turned itself into snow.
Well, um, I want to say a big hello to everyone that is live streaming. It's probably mostly our parents. <laughs> but we love you all and, um, and anyone else that is joining the live stream. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and thank you all for joining us here and, and just for being here in this space. This is um, a totally, if any of you have seen the show in the past, there are parts of it that I kept, but there's a lot of new things that got woven in this year. And this is our first, uh, our first show of the tour. So it's very exciting slash vulnerable to be like doing this all in front of everyone and you guys are so lovely. So thank you for being here with us. Um, we invite, you know, any thoughts and uh, actually I take that back. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, just kidding. But um, anyway, we're going to do one song and then uh, take a little break. Uh, I'm going to do a costume change because I want to. And uh, we're going to keep it really brief, this break. So please do stick around. Um, the second set is also quite a bit shorter. And it's a little more of just a variety of songs, which are inspired and some singing along. So anyway. Um, we're going to teach you, though, the chorus to sing along on this last song called Gather Together. So I want to just teach you your part. Uh, I wrote this song for the show uh, in, I think, in 2020. Um, <laughs> And it was so exciting to get back in person in 2021, and uh, it's called Gather Together. I'm not a huge fan of the winter time. I am fine admitting that. Um, but music and creating music and playing music at this time of year especially is always such a balm. And, um, and also singing with people is like one of my very favorite things to do. So I wrote this song in hopes that people would sing along on the chorus, which is just a like a la 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 kind of vibe. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think you guys can do it. Um, here we go. So. Here it is. La, la. Let me make sure I'm in the right key. La, 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 la. Okay, that's your part. <clears throat> it goes like this. La, 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 la. put so many sing-alongs in the second set because you guys are so good. That would be so sad if this was like our only sing-along song. We're like, no! Um, okay, that was great. Yes. But before we sing, I have to just, I just have to read one more poem. Uh, and this is one of also my favorite poems um, by Susan Cooper. It's called The Shortest Day. And so the shortest day came and the year died, and everywhere down the centuries of the Snow White world came people singing, dancing, to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees, they hung their homes with evergreen, they burnt beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the New Year's sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen. All the long echoes sing the same delight this shortest day. As promise awakens in the sleeping land, they carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends, and hope for peace. And so do we, here, now, this year and every year. Welcome.
There's a feeling coming on and I hope it stays. Flutter in my chest, glow from deep within. An ember in the fire, it's that time again. It's that time again. But it's moments like these that feel like and breathe. When the winter coming on, does it make me want to leave? I'll fill up the room with that old familiar tune. Send me home with a song. I'll sing it.
Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. So, did everyone change their clothes? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Um, anyway, so, welcome back, Catherine Claire. Uh, lead us into the brighter times. Okay. Okay, we're going to do that. Falling leaves just by my window. The autumn leaves of red and gold. I see your lips, the summer kisses, the sun. Start to fall. 
actually, uh, the tune there is an old American fiddle tune called The Cold Frosty Morning. If there's any fiddle players in the house or uh, old time fiddle music lovers. Um, <clears throat> Sid and I both uh, come from classical backgrounds and then also fiddle backgrounds and share a love of Irish and Scottish and American fiddle music. Um, and Dawn does not come from that background. <laughs> and so it's been always such a blast in this trio to kind of wed the two and um, to pop a fiddle tune in there and then have these sort of cool jams. And anyway, that's one that we ended up uh, recording on our EP, the Winter Songs EP. <clears throat> and I didn't mention anything about um, merch because I was in the middle of an experience that we were having in the first set. Uh, but the EP also, I threw in a little download card in there. So if you're not really a CD person anymore, I totally get that. Um, but you can still get the EP and then there's also a little download card. That's all. <clears throat> I'm going to sing a song um, that I learned from a beautiful uh, Dutch duo called The Lasses that I have worked with and toured with for over 10 years. And... Um, they recorded it on their first album, and I had met them in 2013. I did a show with them in Amsterdam, and this album, it was like a very dark winter for me. And this song in particular, just, I played it like incessantly. I loved it so much, and it's a, it's actually written by a beautiful um, Scottish songwriter named Corrine Polwart. Um, but I have, I have sung this for 10 years now, and doing it with these two is, such a treat, it's called Follow the Heron.
so long may you see of the salmon and the snow scented sounds of your home as the north wind delivers its sermon of ice and Actually, I think our first show was here last year as well. And I was like, okay, everybody, this is a sing-along, and, and I'll teach you the chorus. And I realized, like, it's totally not necessary to teach the chorus, so I'm pretty sure you will know it, and we won't waste your time or our time. And if you don't know it, I hope that you will learn it. <laughs> and, and sing it more. Okay. <laughs> anyway, one, two, three, four. All the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray.
best, but I truly think that was like the best audience participation of that song. Definitely. Like I seriously, Definitely. like I like I, I didn't know what to sing next. At the end of the first chorus, I was like, <laughs> like it literally blew me away. That was so great. Wow. I wish like the rest of the set was just like all sing-along songs from the 60s and 70s. Okay, next year. <laughs> wow, okay, where were we? Um, oh, okay, 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 since you're a lively bunch. <laughs> okay. If you have seen our show before, um, you will know that uh, that you can, we're gonna play a waltz that, that we kind of co-wrote, and then we're gonna go into a traditional carol that's also a waltz, but um, there's not a lot of room for waltzing, so you might know, some of you, that you can actually waltz in your chair, and it's a very, very fun and lovely pastime that people in different parts of the world like to do. So if you feel comfortable, you're welcome to hook arms and chair waltz. It's called chinkla. And, uh, that's all we're going to say. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Cross into the new. And it's uh, it's my New Year's end of the year and beginning of a new year song. Shining beneath 
of their soft golden light. Write hopes for tomorrow and memories of yesterday. And let the fires burn them all away. Look back and see all that I was can now be. partial sing-along so don't fret um, but I want to say a big thank you to Abby and Harold for creating such an amazing space and for just offering incredible concerts and a venue like this for so so many years and so many seasons it's always an honor to be here and we love you so. thank you so much So lucky to have you here again, Catherine, and you again, and you again, everyone together, and also uh, the live streaming folks. Thanks for tuning in. It's always great to have you too. You're so loud. Oh my gosh, could you just be more quiet? I know. They're just like <laughs> losing their minds right I now. Know, but I know. It's awesome. I can hear you loud. Um, anyway, it's always great to have you. And thanks again, Catherine. You're just you sound so beautiful, and all together, it's fantastic. Thank, Thank you. Great Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. All right. Yay! And uh, and a big thank you to all of you for being here, and also a big thank you to Don and Sid, who are such amazing friends and musical colleagues, and it's always an honor to play with both of you. So a big hand for both. Yeah. Of you. And this is a song that I <clears throat> I wrote uh, a number of years ago, um, but it continues to feel like an, um, a song to be shared. Um, and I always love singing it with audiences. I've sang it in different <clears throat> places all over the world, actually. And uh, it's called The Ways of the World. And I wrote it <clears throat> imagining, it was in 2017, and I was imagining um, all of the planet, like people's hands just raising. And I actually kind of saw them more as like little lights, like these little candle lights we have, just like hands and lights raising up and, uh, and being like, hey, we, we want peace. We want peace in our homes and our communities and our hearts. And I know that there's that hope all over the planet. <clears throat> so that's where the song came from. And we'll sing together and we'll send our voices out around and across the planet tonight. <clears throat> and it goes like this. Oh, the ways of the world. Yeah, try that.